I smell you hobbits as you come back to Pocket Runny. Okay, we're going to be factoring nat natural exponential and natural log expressions. So look at 22d3. So 5e to the 2x plus 13e to the x minus 6 divided by e to the x plus 3. We're going to factor, like you factor a trinomial into two binomials. We're going to factor, but there is a way to make this to make this easier on our eyeballs than to have all the e to the x's in there. Okay, we're going to make a substitution. Okay, we're going to let's say we're going to let y equal e to the x. Everywhere we see an e to the x, we're going to put in the letter y. You can pick any letter you want to, just so happens the book puts y. So everywhere we see an e to the x, we're going to put in y. Like right here, you can see that that middle, that will be 13 times y. There's the e to the x. So instead of writing e to the x, I'm going to write y. I'm going to get to this one here in a minute. In the denominator, there's an e to the x. So I'm putting in y plus 3. Now, what is that one going to be? That will actually be 5y squared because that's e to the 2x. So just to show you, e to the x times e to the x because squared, y squared, y squared implies y times y. In our case, each y equals e to the x times e to the x. What is e to the x times e to the x? When you're multiplying, these exponents get added. So that would be x plus x is 2x. So when you have e to the 2x, you're basically substituting that with y squared. So that's this would be 5y squared. This is something more manageable that we can look at to factor than having all the e to the x's. The first thing you always do is look to see if you can factor something out. 5, 13, 6. I can't factor anything out. So I'm ready to go straight to two parentheses. I can tell by this that's going to be, one's going to be a positive, one's going to be a negative. Okay, so there's only one set of factors for 5. 5 times 1. So 1 will be a 5y, 1 will be a y. I usually don't put in my positives and negatives until the end. So for 6, I can either pick 6 and 1 or 3 and 2. So I can tell you it's going to be 3 and 2. And I've already worked this out ahead of time. That's why I can do it so quickly. But again, there's no quick, easy tip. Just trial and error. Put your numbers there. Foil it back out to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then change it. Okay, this needs to be a negative, this needs to be a positive. When you foil this back out, you will actually get a positive 13y in the middle. Okay, now you can look to see if anything cancels. Those are married, so those parentheses cancel, so I'm left with 5y minus 2. I'm not done. That's not my final answer. I need to go back and make the substitution. Okay, because I don't want my answer to be in y's, I want my answers to be in e to the x. So I, everywhere I see a y, I can go back and replace it with e to the x. So 5e to the x minus 2 would be your final answer. Okay, now look at 22d number 5. So we have this. The one thing that I want to point out about this, this is natural log x squared. Let me show you the difference between, do you see how the exponent is in between the natural log and the x? Natural log x squared is different than natural log x squared. This is natural log and then you square the x. This means natural log of x times natural log of x. This means natural log of x times x. So just be careful of where your exponent is. So when you're implying this, your exponent is in between the natural log uh, symbols and the x. Okay. So going back to here, again, we will make a substitution just to make it easier on our eyeballs. Okay. We can make the substitution using y as a letter. We're going to let y equal natural log of x. 
So everywhere we see a natural log of x, we're going to replace it with y. So what does this mean that natural log squared x is? That would be the same thing as y squared. Because that would be natural log of x times natural log of x, which is y squared, minus 1. Again, that would be a y squared plus 2 times y plus 1. Okay, now let's factor this. Difference of two squares, y minus 1, y plus 1, all over, factoring this, y, y, we're in a positive world, the only factors of 1 are 1. Now our y plus 1's cancel, and so we have left y minus 1 over y plus 1. We're not done, we have to go back and make the substitution and take natural log of x and put it in everywhere we see a y for the final answer. So now we can say natural log of x minus 1 over natural log of x plus 1. That would be a final answer.